Hey, how you doing? In today's video, we're going to add some detail to our wall construction, okay? So this is detail that's in baked into the, the wall itself. Uh, instead of just putting in 2D elements over in your, in your details, uh, we're going to actually bake it into the into the wall. There's a few ways about going about this. I, I, I've, I've used stacked walls quite a bit, and I like that. Uh, but somebody actually gave me this idea recently, uh, inadvertently, and it's not a bad one. So this is what we're going to, this is our end product. Okay, so maybe you look at the other side. We have a we have a rising wall with the hundred mil block inner leaf, outer leaf, ninety mil insulation, ten mil cavity gap there. Okay, but we're going to put the other elements in, like thermal blocks and concrete, and uh, leave some insulation there, and maybe put a, a renderer on the plinth on the outside. Okay, right. Let me just change this wall type back to our standard one, and we'll get going on it. Okay, so we're going to do this using sweeps in the wall. Okay, so you might get the idea after I do one of them, but uh, if, if you can hang on in there to the end, it might be worth it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and add maybe the thermal blocks, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into File, New, Family, uh, Metric, Profile, Hosted, Open. Okay, so we're going to put a thermal block inside the wall so reference planes under and to the back of it dimension so from the top plane down sorry the horizontal plane down and from the vertical plane across escape escape select this i'm going to do this pretty quickly if i can uh, you, can, you can replay it so height and call this one maybe thickness so we're, we're creating a block okay like a concrete block size block I won't create types of the family. I'm just going to give the parameters we need here. So a block is 215 high, and we're using 100 mil blocks. Okay. So create tab, line, uh, use the rectangle tool, I guess. And uh, from corner to corner, lock, 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 file, save as family. Uh, going to go into save it here so profiles uh, walls let's call this guy a there uh, sorry just a block save and load into the project and close so back into our three sorry, our 2d section select our rising wall edit type now you may not have this preview open if you don't. If, you, if your uh, type properties are like this, just click on preview. And by default, it'll probably be in plan. You need to get that into section. So just drop the menu and go to uh, section. Now we're going to put this thermal block on the top of the wall. Okay, so you can zoom in there so you can see it as you work. So edit sweeps okay we're going to add a sweep now a sweep adds the, the to the wall and a reveal takes away otherwise it's the same idea use a profile sweep adds uh reveal is a sweep take away sorry a profile take away so sweeps add profile then go and select your profile what was a block uh block profile there it is there i have a material already for thermal blocks oh there it is okay and i'm going to put it on the top not the base okay and if you wanted to click apply you'll see where it is now okay there it is we want it on the interior side though right because the thermal blocks are good on the outside apply shin cuts wall yes cuttable yes yeah, sure why not okay and okay okay and there we have a thermal block detailed into our wall it's actually in the wall now i'm going to put another course of thermal blocks on that so edit type, edit, sweeps, actually escape there, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it clearer. So sweeps, add, block profile, thermal block again, and from the interior again, top, uh, apply, so it's sitting on top of the other one. We don't want that, obviously, right? So uh, 200 distance in. Oops, that, that's vertical. This would be... Oh, 
by minus 200 pounds. There we go. All right, so we'll select the cuttable as well. So we've just offset it in 200 from the edge. So it goes in because we know there's a 100 mil, 100 mil, and then 100 mil for the block. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? I meant to put it underneath this one. Okay. So offset zero, and from top, distance minus 225. Here we go. Right, so we want to top the other. Okay. All right. How's that looking? Okay, thermal blocks in the wall, and you can just have a look at that in 3D. You can see that there, there it is. It's in the wall. Okay, what else do we want to do? We probably want to, we don't want to run the insulation necessarily all the way to the bottom, so let's put in a void, okay? So we're going to use a reveal this time, and uh, put it at the base of the wall, okay? But you know what, I can use the same profile because it's just a rectangle, okay? So down here, where was it? Uh, block profile uh, in the project browser under profiles, block profile, select that guy and duplicate. I'm going to call this cavity void, okay? Enter. Now, how high a void do we want? It's from here. 675. Uh, we want at least 225 insulation, let's say, so 450. I'll just leave it at 10 mil gap, make it 440, okay? So cavity void. Double click on that. I'm going to make the height 440. This is 100 again. Okay. All right. So this time, select the wall, edit type, uh, section again. Go to the bottom this time. Edit the structure and reveals this time. So add block cavity void. There it is. Base perpendicular exterior. Uh, from interior, isn't it? And then that now. Oh, so we need to go vertical. So offset 200 and vertical uh, 440. Okay. 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 So we can have a look at that. Okay. You get it now. We have a void there now. So again, 3D. There's nothing there, right? So section. Let's add some concrete into the cavity. Okay, how about that? So let's make a profile for that. A little bit complicated. No, sorry, not complicated. A little bit more complicated. It's, it's actually quite simple. So file, uh, new, family, uh, metric profile. Open. Uh, I'm going to put it from the bottom, right? So I'm going to put the reference plane over this time because I'm going to orient this guy to the bottom of the wall. And in there. So I'm going to create a line. Intersect. That's going to be my little tilt to the outside uh, leaf. Escape, escape. I'm going to dimension that with an angular dimension of the reference plane. Escape, escape, grab the dimension, create parameter. Uh, just call it angle. Okay. 15 is probably enough. Okay. And then create tab lines. Pick line with lock selected. Bing, bing, bing. And trimmed corners. Okay. I'll save that as. Say cavity fill. Load into project and close. All right, section. So select the wall again, edit type, edit, and we go to the bottom and sweeps. Remember, we're adding this time, not taking away. Add, what did we call it? Cavity fill. Uh, just give it to concrete material I have there. So from the base, see where that is. Okay. And distance, take it in 100. 
Oops. Wrong hundred. But from the interior, don't we? Offset one hundred. Okay. Whoops, minus hundred. There it is. Except it's the wrong size. Okay. I must have forgot to put some dimensions on that, so we'll go back in and edit, okay? Okay. Okay. Where is it? Uh, concrete cavity fill. Edit of the family. Would you believe I left? Ah. I had two profiles that were similarly named. Yes, yeah, see, I didn't put the parameters in. Okay, so back into cavity fill. Edit. Dimension. Top to bottom reference plane there. And this lad here. Shapes like that guy, column thickness. So it's the thickness of the cavity. E. And this one is the height. A 440 to be said, wasn't it? It's 100. Tape load and project close, simple building. Okay. Sure, why not? All right. There it is. Okay, it overrode it. So, brilliant. So, we already have thermal blocks, uh, the insulation cut short, uh, cavity filler concrete. Uh, we might as well just stick on the plinth as well, okay? So I'm going to use the cut the block one again. Where is that now? Block profile cavity void. So I'll close that one. This one I was using earlier. Block profile duplicate. We we'll call it render. Okay, we we'll give it a thickness of about 25 mil. A height of 150 and a thickness of 25. Okay. All right. So select the wall. Same process. Edit type. Uh, section. Oops, section. I'm gonna put this one on the top on the outside. So edit the structure sweeps. Add. Uh, what was it called again? No, it was block. Block. It was block twenty five. There it is. Render. Okay. Render. I'm already going into the, the materials and how to make them. You can maybe get that yourself or another video, maybe. Uh, these are just materials I already have. Okay. So from the top, from top, uh, exterior. Okay. We'll move that out. Uh, 25. Wrong one. Ooh, wrong one. Ah, it's because I'm in the wrong the wrong row. Okay. Enter this guy here. Oops. There we are. Okay, it's so twenty five offset on the exterior. Okay. 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 There it is. So in 3D, let's have a darker render there on the, on the plinth. So you already got uh, your thermal blocks, your insulation cut short, uh, you've got your cavity fill, and you've got your render. So that's quite a lot of detail in, in the rising wall. Now you can apply the principles across the board. You could have your your void for your, your wall plate at the top, you could uh, any other detail you need to do. Uh, we've done the same thing in a different video here with the with using the slab edge uh, for the floor, putting in perimeter insulation. And I've used it here as well to put in the uh, the hardcore down to the, the foundation. Look, I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, you know, give it a like and thumbs up, all that stuff, share it and subscribe, etc. <laughs> all right, enjoy. Thanks.